politics, entertainment stories, current affairs, and exclusive interviews. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome on The Buzz UG with, with Melanz Mino, Mino, a.k.a. Fuller. Now, the leaders in Karamoja region have asked for the immediate resignation and the arrest of uh, the Minister for Karamoja Affairs, Mary Goretti Chitutu, for allegedly selling relief items meant for the area she's in charge of. They have turned Karamoja as a project and we shall not accept. For the minister, you don't have the moral authority now to work with us. So better resign. Uh, the leaders said the incident is a complete shame that items meant for Karamoja are being diverted under a senior minister's watch. We demand for the resignation of Honorable Mary Goretti Kitutu. She has to resign from the party immediately and from the office as well. Because of those core principles, it's a shaming the country and the party. Minister Mary Goretti was found in possession of government on the iron sheets that were meant to be given to residents in Karamoja as relief items. Now, yesterday, right here in Uganda, was a public holiday, remembering the big man, Archbishop Jena Luwum, who was killed back in 1977 by President Idi Amin Dada's government for telling them point blank about the human rights abuses at the time. During the time of Idi Amin, there was what we call firing squad, killing by firing squad. People were actually tied on trees and buildings and, and killed by even Idi Amin himself. Actually, he's the one who murdered even the Archbishop in cold blood. So that kind of killing and such such environment, of course, the dictator Dijanan Umu to speak out vehemently. Now, a section of members of parliament have said that President Museveni has taken us back to Id Amin Dada's regime. The situation has become volatile for civilians to oppose his government. Now, Chira Municipality Member of Parliament, Honorable Semu Junganda, in an interview said that the only difference is that today, uh, President Museveni's government kills people through poison and hides in casa, blood clot, and other funny reasons, which wasn't the case back in time. <laughs> Horrible Segona said uh, President Museveni and his people have committed gross atrocities against the people of Uganda, but Ugandans can still forgive them if they repent of their sins. There are people who have lost children. There are people who have lost fathers. There are people who have lost mothers. There are children who can't go to school. There is a, 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 a head teacher, a school head teacher, who simply said, don't put posters of politicians in this compound of the school because I know I'll be accused. He disappeared. Imagine a school head teacher disappearing under Museveni's watch. You know, I, I'm even constrained. You, you notice my tone today is not to call him President Museveni. Why? He has accepted to reduce himself to an ordinary citizen. He can get us out of this. He holds the key. Yes, he successfully rigged this election. He successfully rigged it because we have not done anything. We have not uh, pushed him out. But we can still live in this country together. Some people were telling us about dialogue, ATC. To go and dialogue about what? To go and tell him to forgive us or to go and tell him that we have forgiven him? I can now mention we shall forgive him. I have not done anything to him. He has done everything bad to me and to this country. I will forgive him. Let us use the death of Jan and Lou to reflect on where we can go. Finally, somebody sent me a WhatsApp yesterday. A gentleman in Turkey sent a message to his brother saying, I have been evicted by my landlord saying I should leave his house. So I'm now in a tent. I'm landless. Two days later, earthquake struck. The same landlord was in the same tent with the tenant he evicted. He said, we are now both homeless. You will. Either you, your son, your grandchildren may be like us very soon. Just prepare for that life. 
if you can't prepare it for yourself because I mean age it may catch up with any one of us it has already caught up with you at least your children prepare for them a good life I saw Jimmy Akena. You remember in Parliament mm -hmm. when he was pleading, saying, "No, my father did not do this." If you do not want your children to be on the defensive, do well. Audio jungle.